Hey everyone, it's Ross, and uh, I'm thinking about getting myself some shelving like this. I don't know, I'm kind of playing around with a couple ideas because the grow closet's looking pretty cramped, and I've actually learned a couple things in the process of me um, honestly just playing around with this thermometer. Um, you can see right here in this particular location, it's 79 degrees. Um, and I kept the door shut, so that means if I keep the door open, it's probably much less than that. Um, now, if I were to move this thermometer, as an example, up at the top and keep the door shut, it's 91 degrees, um, even 92 potentially, which is really warm. And the whole reason why I've actually moved some of these these fig trees up here is really to get them going because some of these have not really done anything uh, for quite some time and they've been down here on this level and here I was thinking that this closet was actually much warmer than it is but depending on the the level that this thermometer is at if it's down here it's 73 degrees if it's up here it's 79 degrees and then if it's up at the top where actually the seedlings were planning to be um, it's 91 92 degrees I actually want to show you guys what the seedlings look like let me see if I can bring these down without breaking something but look at these tomato plants guys Whew. those are some healthy looking plants I have to say and you know what they're a bit a bit too long in the current moment but they're actually getting some thickness down here at the base some of these really are getting thick um, I have two of them in here per pot but I think what I'm gonna do is actually thin them out now even further and just leave the one but my plan I think potentially with the shelf is to see if I can get the seedlings instead, I have a whole bunch of seedlings, believe it or not, in the sunroom right now. And they're kind of in there, not really doing a whole lot, it seems like. I've only had them in there for a couple days, but we germinated them in here at the top of the top of the closet. And then once we germinated them, we brought them out in the sunroom. And then the whole goal with that was to get them like more adjusted to the sunlight because it's a sunroom right the sun comes in but also you know I don't really want them I guess to grow too much because we're gonna transplant them out March 15th but I'm not entirely sure how much growth they're really gonna put out in there um, it may just be too cold in the sunroom at least right now right it's gonna be 25 degrees out tonight the sun's not out I mean at the most it's 32 uh, where those seedlings are at. So what I figured was because there's like varying temperature differences between what's up here and what's down here and what's even below is that I should kind of try and move things around and that's what we did. Um, we put all of the plants that have really well rooted out and have put out a good amount of leaves and look like they're doing really well. We stuck them down here at least for now um, because it's only about 73 down here they're not going to grow nearly as much I mean they are growing but they're not growing at the rate that I kind of want them to like some of these right I kind of want a lot of these to catch up these are trees that we've either just started to root in fact this whole bin here we talked about rooting these in the previous video we did that PSA on you know kind of cutting season coming to a close here at least indoors right we're, we're trying to get them out as soon as we can here because we only have about two to three months left of growing things indoors before we get outside so that's what I did on that day which was sometime around early February and now we're only about 15 days after that and every single one of these has leafed out uh, and probably has roots um, it's a bit incredible in actuality I'm extremely shocked and pleased with the amount of success that this bin has shown and it's really only sat at this level here 
which tells me that the temperature is probably really optimal at this height for rooting them. Now there's obviously some that are a bit stubborn and we've talked about that as well. I have some Simon on uh, number one. If Simon, you're watching, these guys still haven't done anything. I still have some others that really haven't done anything. We put them up in these bins to try to get the 91 degrees to activate these guys to start doing something. So I've got roughly, I got 12 in this bin and 12 in this bin. Let's see if we can get them a little bit going here because they've just been sitting around for the most part doing nothing. They're, they're quite healthy, right? I mean, this cutting as an example is still very healthy. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just not doing anything. So to give them a little bit of extra heat, I think is a really good idea. We have some other ones in here that we just rooted too that are starting to leaf out like Iraqi, San Baggio, White Madeira number one. A lot of the Borges soaked grease in this bin is rooting out quite well. Um, you know, we've got a lot of life going on at this particular level, but some of them don't really do anything. Um, and what I'm thinking is, I don't really have a whole lot of room for the seedlings, plus I could start a lot more cuttings. I still have quite a bit of cuttings um, in the fridge that I have either cut myself or from other people. And I think I would like to make use of them. I think I would like to start more trees. It's been a really fun hobby, a really fun time doing this this year. I'm actually really pleased uh, at the results. I'm really pleased with how everything's been going. I mean, almost the majority of these trees in here actually are showing some life, showing some, some nice growth. Um, I expect these trees really to get going here at some point, um, especially these ones down here. I, I think they could still potentially reach maybe three feet um, by May, which would be awesome. Uh, not that I think it would be a necessity, but um, if I were to somehow get this bin up to this level where it's five degrees or more warmer, they would just go absolutely berserk. I mean, they would grow so much faster. Uh, really is a huge difference, to be honest with you. Um, to be fair though, I have had mostly the greatest success down on this level, which is the cooler of the three levels. It's 73 degrees down here. Um, and I'm not ex entirely sure why that is. Maybe it was the cuttings that I put in this bin or what. I don't remember if I really moved too many of them around at some point. Maybe I did. But I had a lot of cuttings successfully root themselves down here at this level. And probably about a, a, a decent amount root at this level. But very recently, this whole bin has shown me some ex extremely good success. Same thing with some of these back here that we just rooted as well. So I can't really say for sure. I guess, you know, if I, I could kind of really touch on in this video what the optimal temperature is for rooting these fig cuttings. And well, I don't exactly know um, because I'm having good results at 73 and I'm also having really good results at 79. Um, but I think it's really important as well to have something like this at the top where we can really crank up the temperatures and see if we can get these things to just go nuts and kind of wake up out of that dormancy that some of these guys are in. If I were to take, by the way, this cutting as an example out of the pot and inspect it and see if there's anything wrong with it, some of them may have roots and you don't want to do that, right? You don't want to take this cutting out of the pot because there's likely some roots in here. Uh, you know what? Here's a good example. I took this one out very recently. We'll take one of the Simon unknowns out of the pot. You can see that this portion here is a bit dry, the very top of it. Uh, but this bud's fine, right? It's wrapped in the parafilm. This bud's fine down here. And so, are the, so is this bud, even this bud that's in the soil. And if I were to look at where we scored the bark here, it's actually calloused over quite nicely. Um, even the bottom is a bit calloused over pretty well. So what I could do 
if I really wanted to, is I could score this again, make a new score on this side, stick it back in. But I would, if I had to, you know, take a bet and try to figure out when this cutting is going to root, it's got to be really soon, you know. With the appropriate moisture level, um, I would just, you know, wager pretty a pretty decent amount of money that if it's ever going to root, it's probably relatively soon, you know. Um, so I think that little extra temperature maybe, that little extra temperature swing could really help these guys out. Um, in terms of the shelving unit that I'm thinking about getting, I'm thinking we could just stick it right here. Um, I'm not entirely sure I'd have to move this. This TV doesn't really work. Um, <laughs> we can also move it, I guess, this in this direction here so it's more out of the way. Um, don't ask me why we have a TV that doesn't work and also I don't even watch it which is just a whole mess but anyway um, yeah we can move this lamp we can make sure this door is mostly shut and then we could have the shelving unit that I showed you guys in the beginning of the video and we could stick that there and then what we would do is get these get more fixtures here with more bulbs really inexpensive by the way the shelving units quite a bit but I feel like that shelving unit something I'm gonna want uh, for a long time and it lasts a long time it's made out of steel it's made out of great materials maybe I can find one that's a bit better that's more or maybe more comparable that's um, a bit of a cheaper cost but that way we can have the shelving unit here and then potentially hang more of those lights, more fixtures, and then we can move something like this bin down here onto that bin, or onto the shelving unit, have other bins, we can start new cuttings as an example, and then that way kind of make use of this top area for the figs, and instead move the seedlings out of this top area, especially the cool loving crops that are in the sunroom, and we can take all these little seedlings, guys, and put them on the shelf um, in this room that we're in right now, in the basement. Uh, I know you can't really see it because it's we're still in the 79 degrees in this location, but it's always about 72, 73 degrees in the basement here. So we've got some pretty good temperature to kind of get a lot of this growth. I mean, it's pretty much the same as if... Um, we're growing down here but we're just kind of making more space it makes a whole lot more sense um we need to figure out i guess the logistics a little bit more but it really i think it really just goes to show i was a bit amazed to learn that how much the heat really rises and actually gets kind of trapped in here if i were to actually stick my head in the closet I would say my head to my shoulders is like really warm and then as we go down it's it's not really that hot but I'll start to sweat if I'm in this closet um, so it's just I don't know it's kind of amazing and I, I wanted to share with you guys what's going on because if I were to tell my girlfriend this or somebody else they probably wouldn't be that interested <laughs> so you guys you guys have got that uh, you know interest I guess I don't even know but the point is yeah it's pretty exciting I don't know what I'm gonna do yet but maybe if someone has any thoughts maybe some alterations to what I just said I'd love to hear about it all right take care guys and uh, I'll talk to y'all soon